Hello everybody and welcome back to Hammerhelm. My name is Twisted and today we are gonna be playing the game once again. We're gonna be doing some more quests. We're going to be expanding our town, making it the biggest dwarf town on the planet. That is our plan and we can totally do that. So first of all, I did change the name of some of my guys. Now we have Rokelly and we have Phaedru. Uh, those are both viewer suggestions. There was a lot of suggestions there. We don't have enough dwarves to get them all in right now but if i haven't named a character after you let me know in the comments again i will add it to the list if it's not already on the list i have about 10 names in my little notebook here and i'm gonna be changing them all all right second of all we had the bug with the quest last time i contacted the dev and he actually fixed the save for me and he also fixed the bug the game has been updated this should no longer happen but i actually complete the quest no problem let's talk to twisted what is his problem quest all right he needs a healing potion. All right, that should be fairly easy. We have a we have a lesser healing potion, right? So we need to make a normal healing potion. Okay, that should be fairly interesting. No, actually, no. Hold on. Healing. I guess he needs any healing potion, right? Okay, quest. There we go. He's feeling much better already. Thank you so much. You are welcome, my friend. It's no big deal. Did we get any gold for that? Also, he's kind of unhappy. All right, now... He's twisted, he is unhappy. I am sick, I can't sleep, there are monsters nearby. There are monsters nearby. Okay, everyone's really unhappy because of the monster, we're gonna have to go fix that. I uh, have two miners. I don't know how to actually remove people from the task. I should, I should actually have asked the dev how to do that. I'll actually do that after the episode. Because there has to be a, a, a way, I tried shift clicking, control clicking, alt clicking, right clicking, shift. No, I don't see a combination that works. Maybe it's not possible, I'm not quite sure. Not sure. Uh, we have 228. Building a building would cost us... Building a wooden house, 400 gold arenas. So, we need to actually go do some things. Look at the miner. Nothing over here. Is this ghost still here? No, he's completely gone. And this house seems a bit different. Oh, new quest! Find the dungeon in town and destroy it. Awesome, so we're getting a lot of quests now. That's awesome. You guys are doing nothing of value. Because there's nothing to mine right now. Because we filled in the mines. We will get a quest to explore the mines even more. It's gonna happen at one point, but we cannot do it right now. So we should drink the potion. Just because we can. There we go. To get some HP back. I know you can switch the text, the, the quest with the tab button. I don't know which one is closer. It's kind of hard to say. I'd rather actually go clear the camp. Because the camp is probably easier to clear than the dungeon. So we should probably focus on that. Speaking of goblins, I just want to invite you all to join our Discord. The link is going to be at the top of the description. And also, if you want to support us a little bit more, you can check out our Patreon. The link to that is also in the description. All right, there's the camp. Let's go fight these goblins. Also, I asked the dev about these uh, colored bars. So, the redder it is, the more difficult the enemy. If it's green, the enemy is easy to kill. If it's red, the enemy is higher level and he does more damage. He's going to be a more of a problem to take care of. There we go. You guys were really easy. We get money, oh, we get 107 gold. We need and some leather, awesome. We can make more items now, which is good. More armor is always nice. And 235 gold, we need 400 for the house, right? So I think, I'm guessing clearing the gun dungeon will give us some stuff. The only way to get gold right now is to actually do quests. Uh, there is nothing in the world that you can find gold. You cannot find just gold laying around in the world. You actually have to have a quest to get it. I did check. Which means we're gonna be questing a lot to get the money to expand our town. Alright, we are almost at the dungeon. So is this a... Like a, an instance dungeon? I think it actually might be because I just see a gate. Huh, interesting. I'm guessing this just spawns randomly in a location. Because it probably wouldn't be right next to the tree. G into the dungeon of curses, that sounds really scary. You can hear the creatures moving about, be on your guard. Okay, so we have six monsters left. Can we break these? Oh, we can break these! Oh, Nice, I like it. Again, it's really dark in here. The dev actually told me that there seems to be some kind of bug. Because the game is not supposed to be this, this dark. It's actually a lot brighter in reality. I just It seems that there's a, probably a problem with my machine. And the way the light is rendered, or maybe something like that, I'm not quite sure. But it's not supposed to be this dark, which is good to know, because we do have torches everywhere. But even with the torches, it's still fairly dark. Alright, that guy is very much dead right now. Feels good. 10 gold, that's awesome. 7, nice. I mean, weird number. A lot of things around here. Okay, I see all the remaining monsters. New quest, clear ruins. Awesome. Okay, so they seem to be spawning fairly frequently now. These guys seem lit up, they're red. Okay, but as long as we just hit them and run back, they cannot hit us. There we go. 
And if we are doing our execution animation, they do not attack us, which is good. So just hit him. The guy seems to be just hanging around. He seems to be stuck for some reason. That's actually good for me. I can just come from behind and kill him in the face or in the butt, whichever you prefer. Alrighty, yeah, it's it's unnaturally dark. I mean, we are standing right next to a little bonfire here. Does no damage to us. Awesome. Okay, this guy should be easy to go. He is a yellow health bar man. Dungeon clear, but there's two enemies left. Alright. 218 gold. So we have a lot of gold now, but I do... No, I don't wanna... Yes, I want the treasure chest. Oh, yeah, just loot. I didn't see the mushrooms. Awesome. I'm gonna get the mushrooms. Can we break these things? We cannot. Alright, let's go kill the rest of the monsters, because we might get something from them. And we also might get some more gold for the course of the dungeon. These are purple. This guy's purple. That seems really nasty. But as long as we move back, I don't think he can actually hit us. There we go. Dungeon cleared again, alright. I'm guessing we we weren't supposed to get the clear from the last enemy. Oh, more of these, okay. Alright, th this has to be some kind of bug, but I don't mind. Any bug that allows me to get a ton of gold is a good bug in my book. Alright, it seems to be about everything, right? Yeah, it seems to be it. Alright, let's leave the dungeon, we can press escape. And we have some money now. Okay, we, okay the thing disappeared completely. We have some money now. We have 1,000 gold, which is enough to build a few buildings. But I also... I'm gonna head back. And if we counter a village, we're gonna do some building. If we counter the ruins before the village, we're gonna do some more monster killing. Because we need more gold. And we also need to build some more things. Okay, so another quest popped in the meantime. It's a quest to kill the goblin camp, which should be easy to do. Are they goblins or they're... they're no, they're, they're goblins, alright. They're nasty, nasty goblins. There we go. It should be easy to take care of. Just smash them in the face. Just boop them. Dude, the damage? <gasps> You're not allowed to do damage to me, sir. There we go. That's what you deserve. I want gold, some copper ore, and a leather. That's awesome. Alright, we can go to the ruins, but I kind of want to go to our home, which would be right across this hill, if I am correct. Am I correct? I think I am. Hold on. And we are. Awesome. Good. So now we have a ton of money. A guy should be fairly happy. Uh, there's... I am sick, I can't sleep. So he is... He didn't eat today. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we out of food? Oh, that's bad. Alright. Uh, we need to get some food. I think they're gonna be unhappy. Yeah, we have zero food. That's actually horrible. They will actually starve. Twizzle is still unhappy because I guess the quest we did before is still kind of buggy. Maybe not. Hold on. Okay, great job. Craft. But right, if you if you shift-click the item you want, you get the entire stack done, which is awesome. That's another useful tip. So we could get a belt. There we go. And we are missing a right shoulder. And trash. Is this just, just garbage? We just put stuff in there and it disappears? Yeah, okay. <laughs> this. Whoops. Thought it was maybe some kind of trash slot. I don't know. For a trinket or something. Uh, so let's get another copper shoulder plate. And equip that as well. Now we are fully armed and dangerous. We look exactly like this guy, but better. Which is nice. Let's press P and let's actually get some more houses, because we need more people. So we could get stone house, actually. Basic comfort, greater comfort. They are a lot more expensive. I'd rather just give them crappy houses for now. They don't care about me. I don't really care about them. Can we squeeze in the house here? We cannot, unfortunately. That's okay. We can squeeze in more houses, like here. There you go, and I kind of want to build another one for two more people. We have a metal worker, we can go for a carpenter shop. You've structured furniture and tools, stonemason, alchemy shop, advanced potions, farm times two. I actually, okay, first of all, let's go back. Let's see how many farmers we can assign to the farm. Uh, one. Alright, so we have one person that's kind of idle. So we are going to build another farm, actually. going to go press... B, and we are going to actually in the house now. We're going to actually get another farm going. Yeah, house production of food. That's always good to see. Good to hear. Oh, trees chopping down. Nice to see that. I wish I could just make roads without doing anything. If there's just a road button. Because now I have a problem. I want to place farms next to each other, but since, since I don't have a road down here. I cannot merge them. I'm gonna have to build another house nearby. I could do this. I don't want that. I want, I want to do this. Let's do this. It's gonna be a bit weird without the rope. We can build another basic house. 
Or maybe we can build a carpenter shop, because we have the money for it, right? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we don't have enough wood. Never mind, let's not do that. My bad, my mistake. I have to wait a little bit more to chop down some more trees. Which shouldn't take too long. And there we go, we have stuff in the house. Awesome. Incredible. I also think they may actually upgrade over time. If they enjoy living there. I'm not sure if that's a thing, but I think that might be a thing. We cannot go inside. Let me in! Why won't you let me in? There we go. Stupid neighbors. I don't like them at all. Alright, so we have our farms. We also have people working them. I also changed the names once again. As I said, I have a list. Make sure to leave a comment with your name to add it to the list. We have Lindsay and Sneaky now. They're gonna be doing some useful things. Wanna sign another farmer? So Lindsay's gonna be a new farmer for us. We could assign more miners. But honestly, I don't think we need more miners right now. We have... Only one worker though, which I don't really like very much. I feel like we should have some more, because they do chopping and stuff like that, right? We have enough stuff people in the mine. And since I don't know how to remove people from the mines... That's a little bit of an issue for me. So do we have like a bakery or something? Alchemy shop, armor, speed weapon, speed brewery. National beer increases minimum mood. Right, tinker shop. Magical effects. Nice, keeps the town clean. Mage tower. Interesting. Tinker shop needed for that. Markable. There's a lot of buildings here. How did I? Were they these? Were some of these lobby for? Because I don't remember seeing like the barracks and the graveyard. The four soldiers held defend the town. Interesting. So we have a lot of work to do. Mostly missing wood. All right. Mostly missing wood. If we build a wooden house, we actually do have everything. So I'm gonna just build a wooden house. Let's build it over here. Because I want more people. They will come to our town. And we'll actually... There we go. This is a new guy. CJ the worker. They're gonna build their house and they're gonna actually live here for a while. I'll change their names as well. Don't worry, but right now I want to actually go do some quests. So we have two quests. They're both in the same direction. We're gonna follow them. What are you doing? No, just just leave. Stop bothering me. Bye-bye. Let's, let's just go do the quests to get some more gold so we can expand our village even more. Alrighty, here is our cave. The ruins are somewhere else it's in, but let's enter the cave. Let's see what's inside. Hopefully we get a lot of money. We usually get a lot of things. It looks newly inhabited. Interesting. All right, the cave of darkness. Ooh, spooky stuff. Okay, it's mushroom people again. These guys are not very scary. They're just very funny. Look, why would you ever kill a mushroom? Poor thing. He's just trying to walk around and live his life, and then we go kill him. Okay, this is a bit different. Uh, it has... So let's go. There's actually 10 monsters here. Oh god, let's drink a potion. Just to heal up a bit. There's no passive region. There's a lot of paths here. Oh my god. Okay, let's... Just go follow the corridor to the end. Let's see if we find anything. I think this actually might loop around. No, it does not. This is really big. This is a really big one. And there's lava everywhere. That seems very spooky. Alright, we will... Oh, is that... I think that's iron. I think that is actually iron. That's awesome. If it is, that means we can get new items, new weapons, new armor, stuff like that. Which is awesome. We might need some leather. Here we go. Guys are dead. But I may actually want to build some more buildings before doing anything else here, because it might give us some more opportunities. What do we get? What do we get? It is iron ore. 11 iron ore. B-E-A. Beautiful. I love it. Alright, more enemies to kill and beat down. There we go. Take a while to kill. I could try a different weapon. Usually in games I prefer axes, but this game is called Hammer Helm, so it just feels fitting to have a hammer. I don't think there's a difference. I think it's just a visual difference. I think they all do the same amount of damage. They also have the same attack speed. They don't have any strengths and weaknesses. I could be totally wrong, but I think they're exactly the same, except it looks right now. New quest? Oh, I have three now. Awesome. New mine level! Ooh, that's actually really good because it's really close to our base. We can go clear the cave, clear the ruins, then go back home, build some buildings, go explore the mines. Yeah, once you start getting quests, it seems great because you always have something to do, but there was a little period there where we didn't have any quests to do, so it was kind of weird. I didn't know what, what I was supposed to be aiming for. I just had to wait to get more quests, but now we're getting them left and right. We don't have time to complete them in time, which is awesome. It means we always have a clear goal in the sidebar. All right, this is the last corridor we have. This is actually the first one on the left as we enter the base. I think these are procedurally generated. I think they're never the same. I could be wrong, but I 
it looks like it is procedural. All right, three enemies left. They should be really easy to kill. These guys are a little bit nasty. I don't really care. There we go. Mushroom people. It's so weird. So weird. Hope we'll get a lot of mushrooms from them. So we can eat them for po health potions. Oh my god, you hit me. Oh god, he's gonna blow up. What the hell? Okay, I've never seen that before. Interesting. All right, that's good to keep in mind. Some enemies blow up. All right, cave clear. Dude, open the chest. We got a lot of gold. Claw root. Ooh, we can make better potions now with those things. Interesting. I'm gonna check if there's something over here. There is some iron. Let's go get it. Did I get the other iron? I did. I have 21. I thought I may have forgotten to pick it up. G. And let's just leave the dun dungeon. Let's go find the ruin. That should be really, really close. So, we came from that direction. It's daytime outside. Mine is in our base. The ruin should be really close, probably just across the hill. The ma map isn't that big. It's always the same map. I think the mountains are actually the edge. I don't think there's anything to do in the mountains. Although I could be wrong. What was that? I heard something. We go. Ooh, okay, I see them. Are these the same ruins from before or they just randomly spawn? I'm not quite sure. Can go kill these dudes. Easily. Oh, what the hell? What? The oh my god, that's probably not supposed to happen. <laughs> oh god. Alpha games, I love them. <laughs> that's a really weird bug. I guess it got stuck in the geometry and just kicked me away. Okie dokie. Light of the Concords and all that. Hello, sir. You're very much dead. Go back to sleep. Stop bothering my people. They don't care about you. Oh, you open the chest. Gold and mushrooms. Everything a man needs, or everything a dwarf needs. There we go. Will you guys drop another chest for me? Hello, sir. Don't... Oh, he did damage to me. Oh, don't die. No, no, no. Okay, this is actually bad. Get him. Okay. Get the mushrooms. We need to go back. We need to brew some potions, because we are actually fully out, right? Yeah. There's no way to craft stuff on the road. Clear the ruins. Are these not the ruins? Oh, there's more enemies here. Did they respawn? I guess there was just several packs of them. Alright, let's get them. Okay, you seem to be bugged out. Do you still take damage? They you do. Alright. That's good. I guess I bugged you out when, yeah, when I flew away. Alright. Got the chest, but the quest is still here. Was this not the quest I was supposed to do? Again, the quest system has been revamped in the latest update, so it's still a bit buggy from time to time. The stuff like this just happens. Well, I guess... I mean, there's nothing else to clear here, right? Unless I'm missing something really obvious. I don't see any more enemies standing around doing anything. So... Yeah. I think we got them all. Just quickly check over the hill here. Nope, no one here. All right. So I'm guessing we just got bugged out. We did get a lot of loot, which is good. Someone might be stuck underground, which is making it impossible for us to actually get to them and kill them and complete the quest. That's okay. We're gonna try again. We'll come back later. If not, I'm gonna uh, bug the dear old dev to just fix the save for me again. Hopefully he doesn't mind. All right, let's go back home. Home sweet home. Alrighty. So we also have a new quest. Do we need to do? But first of all, I want to go and craft some potions. I think if we build the alchemy lab, we can make better potions. But right now, I just want to make normal ones. Actually, I want to make the advanced ones if I can, right? Well, let me find where those bad boys are. All the way down, right? Weak? I think lesser is better than weak, right? Okay. How many can I craft? I can only craft... I can craft more than one. Hold on. A total of three potions. All right, let's go consume those bad boys. We have 15. Oh, we actually got a lot of HP now. Awesome. Can we make more? We need the other mushrooms. I, actually, while we're waiting, might as well just make a bunch of other ones. I don't want to use all my mushrooms. So, eh, okay, let's just use them. We're going to get new mushrooms anyways. Yeah, just make 11. I don't really care. And yeah, let's get these bad boys up here. Get new mushrooms, it's not a big deal. 
And we have some gold. Let's talk to... Let's do the quest. Let's do the bed rest quest. Talk to Phaedru. All right. What's your problem, sir? Quest. I'm feeling well lately. Healing potion will make me feel better. All right. There we go. Just exit. Heal potion. There we go. He loves it. Did you actually get my better... He got my better healing potion. God damn it. Why don't you take the good one? It's okay. It's fine. Let's drink, drink the good one so we get all the HP back. Did we get money for that? We did not. That's okay. Alright, so we have a few idle people. We actually have a farmer I haven't assigned anyone to, right? No, I have a farmer assigned. No one's doing anything here. Who's the farmer? Farmer is Lindsay and Phaedra. Where is Lindsay? At home, apparently. I don't see anyone here. Maybe in Wicked's house? Why are you unhappy, my friend? Alright, don't hit him. Real Kelly. Where is Lindsay? Hold on. There's some things here. Oh, we're all the way there. Are you dropping down trees? Are you stuck in somewhere? Hold on. It looks like you're stuck in something. Take a peek. Yeah, you're definitely stuck here. For some reason. Speak with Lindsay. No, just go back home, Lindsay. I, I know you don't like your beer, but just go home. Alright. Again, alpha bugs do happen. Is this the edge of the map? I think it actually might be. Yeah, because we are not getting anything over here. So if we could unassign Lindsay from being a farmer somehow. I didn't eat today. That's sad. I have a nice house. Yay. Who's unhappy? Wicked's unhappy. Didn't eat today. Well, you should eat something, man. Can't sleep. I'm sick. Well, I don't care. That's your problem. All right. Let's press the P button. I have to go back inside. All right, I see the edge, I see the edge. The flowers are the edge. That's good to know. All right. Let's see. So we have people in our metal worker shop. Let's actually try building a building in order. We have the storehouse. That's important. Again, I think if we have more of them, we can store more items, which is always good, but we don't have to worry about that right now. Carpenter shop. Uh, new structures, furniture, and tools. I do want one of those. Oh, we have a quest. Let's see what it is. Join the monsters. Awesome. That should be fairly easy to do. Also, usually gives us stuff. No, we actually got to clear the ruins quest. No, we, we did want that one. Never mind. Yeah, that's the one we couldn't complete. Uh, go press P. So we have the metalworker shop. We have the farm. Let's get the carpenter shop. And the stonemason shop. We can I get both of them? This gives us more options, I think. So I, I don't. Th I think the carpenter shop doesn't actually do anything right now. I think for right now it's just for looks. I think it's not implemented yet, but we're gonna build it anyways because I do like the way it looks. So let's actually build it over here. There we go. We have 197 gold left. Take a peek, sneak and build that. I'm gonna do a great job, hopefully. It's gonna be a really cool building because it's a two-floor building. It actually has an upper floor. You can climb up there and see what's up, do things. It's awesome. What's your problem, Phaedru? There are monsters nearby. I am sick. Why are you still sick? You should not be sick anymore. I gave you the potion. You took my best potion. You took my strongest potion. I have to make new ones. I guess I just want to heal up to full. Might as well just use up the potions, I guess. They heal quite a bit. And this building's almost done. You can climb it, right? Yeah. Okay, he's missing the floor. <laughs> That's not very safe, Sneaky. Someone could die there. Awesome, we have the things. A lot of things laying around. Let's go climb up top. Oh, there we go, there's the floor. Nice, we can also go downstairs easily. And it's very cozy in here. I like this building a lot. Looks very friendly. It reminds me of Skyrim quite a bit. For some reason, I don't know why. Uh, can we assign someone to be the carpenter? Yes, we can. Assign someone. Who's gonna come here? Who's gonna take the post? Sneaky! Alright, where are you, Sneaky? I'm gonna go get some resources. I wanna talk to you and see what you can actually do for me. I don't think he can do anything, but... I mean, th this building does unlock new buildings, I think. But I don't think he can actually do anything right now. There's, yeah, there's nothing to shop. 
Maybe if we go to the metal worker, he has new items unlocked, but I don't think that's the case. I do want to check just in case first. There we go. Craft. These are all from before. Yeah. I could make some iron ingots. There we go, we have 16 of those, so we could actually make a better weapon. Does more damage. We could try making an iron axe. We have the resources for it. Let's make an iron axe. It's 48 damage, which is 10 more than the hammer, so it's obviously better. Uh, let's just move it over here. Oh yeah, that's what I like. That's what I'm talking about. Sneaky, come here. Can't help me at all. It will just be here and do nothing. It's a prerequisite for some other things. For example, I think... Look, we can find it. To farms... Yeah, we need it for the armorsmith shop. Production of advanced armor. I don't know if that's implemented, but we will build that. We just need a lot more gold, which means we need to focus more on completing quests to get more blizzards. We need a, like, a lot of gold. This is a thousand, a thousand, thousand, thousand. That's a lot of, lot of gold. We need to... Infirmary. Was this in the... List before? I don't remember. I don't remember seeing the infirmary. I could be totally wrong though. I'm probably totally wrong. So yeah, we're doing great. We have the new carpentry building. It's awesome. And we just need to get more money. We have some quests to do. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. But yeah, I'm gonna actually just end this one here. If you guys enjoyed, just leave a like, leave a comment. It helps out a great, great deal more than you can even imagine. But yeah, once again, thank you guys very much for watching. My name has been Twisted from Hunter Better Games. Now we'll see you next time.